it's cold. There's a sign that Christmas is coming soon. And what way can we make it warmer? I'll tell you, that is Star Wars, the Old Republic. It's almost been 35 years since the original Star Wars film was released in the West End. And now we're here and waiting and anticipating the launch of the new Star Wars game, The Old Republic. And what is your favourite part of Star Wars? I'll let you ask that well, one. there's all sorts of different parts. I mean, you've got the lightsaber, you've got the force, you've got all sorts of different sorts of things. Depending on what you want to be, really, isn't it? Are you the ultimate Star Wars geek? I wouldn't say ultimate, but I'm pretty high up there. And can you give me your Wookiee impression? Nah, I don't do Wookiees. Oh, come on, just a little one. Nah, 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 I'm not doing that. <laughs> Yes, we want you to be able to log in and, you know, from, from the minute you're starting, there are, you know, little little tips and instructions appearing, you know, to help you figure out what you're, what you're supposed to be doing, what you're able to do. You know, the first few hours of play are going to gently ease you into your various abilities. You know, you're not going to be, you know, dying, you know, every five minutes when you've just started the game. Um, we really want to bring in an audience of people who haven't played these kinds of games before. We want to bring in... Star Wars fans who, you know, aren't necessarily video game fans. Uh, we want to bring in Bioware fans who have, you know, really enjoyed Dragon Age or Mass Effect, but who haven't played an MMO before. So if we did our jobs right, um, you know, you should be able to, to pick it up and, you know, enjoy the learning curve and get passionate about it. I'm just about to get my signature by one of the writers of the new Star Wars game. And Warwick Davis, I can't wait. I'm Warwick Davis and you're watching Tech TV Investigates.